The L'Oreal Heiress Family's Success Story French novelist Francois Betancourt Myers serves as a board member of L'Oreal SA, a personal care corporation. Head of the Family Foundation, Betancourt Schuler Foundation, which is estimated to be worth $700 million. The richest woman in the world, Francois Betancourt Myers, the L'Oreal heiress, hasn't had an easy life. Francois Myers, Betancourt. Francoise Betancourt Myers is one of the wealthiest women on the planet. She also serves as president of the Betancourt Schuller Foundation, which she and her family formed with the goal of improving French society and increasing France's influence abroad. With a projected net worth of $66.3 billion in 2022, Francoise Betancourt Myers will rank among the richest women in the world. L'Oreal's Backstory a young French chemist named Eugene Schuller created the Oreal hair color recipe. Along with other things he made, he sold it to hairdressers in Paris. In July 1919, he established the Société Française de Teinture Inoffensive, pour cheveux, or Safe Hair Dye Company of France. He ultimately decided to rename his company L'Oreal. L'Oreal has made numerous industry expansions in the beauty sector, among the thousands of products and more than 500 brands offered by the company are hair color, cosmetics, body and skin care, cleansers and fragrances. Six research and development centers are located throughout the globe for L'Oreal. Two are in France, one each in the US, Japan, China and India. Currently under development is a second proposed facility in the United States. The biggest and most prosperous cosmetics firm in the world is L'Oreal. Early Life On July 10, 1953, Françoise Betancourt Myers was born in Neuilly-sur-Seine, France. She is the sole child of French politician André Betancourt and multi-millionaire businesswoman Liliane Betancourt. The grandson of a rabbi who had perished at Auschwitz, Jean-Pierre Meyer, was married to François Betancourt Myers. Myers made the decision to raise her kids as Jews after getting married. Their grandfather, Eugene Schuler, the founder of L'Oreal, was on trial for his alleged ties to the Nazi regime, which sparked controversy surrounding their marriage. A few fascinating details. The world's wealthiest woman, Françoise Betancourt Myers, is the granddaughter of L'Oreal's founder and owns almost 33% of the company. She chairs the family holding company in addition to serving as a director on the L'Oreal board since 1997. After her mother, Lillian Betancourt, the richest woman in the world at the time, passed away in 2017 at the age of 94, she ascended to the French throne as the L'Oreal heir apparent. The two children of Françoise Betancourt Myers and French businessman Jean-Pierre Myers, who were married in 1984, are Jean-Victor, 35, and Nicola Myers, 32. Françoise Betancourt Myers, who was raised Catholic, married a Jew and decided to raise their children as Jews. She is well known for her religious commentary, which draws comparisons between Jewish and Catholic texts. When Françoise Betancourt Myers believed her mother was suffering from dementia, which impairs the ability to think, remember, and conduct properly, she launched a lawsuit against her mother in an argument about money management during the latter years of her mother's life. In addition to serving as chair of L'Oréal, Françoise Betancourt Myers oversees the family's charitable foundation, which supports French research and the arts. Françoise Betancourt Myers only received a $39.5 billion inheritance from her mother in 2017 but she has worked hard to increase her wealth. And as of July 2021, her net worth is close to $86.2 billion. About L'Oreal's growth in India. The business has about 30 years of experience in India. In 1994, it opened its first headquarters here. 90% of the company's product range is currently sourced and produced domestically at its Badi and Pune factories. It faces competition from businesses such as Procter and Ampe Gamble and Unilever in a number of product categories. 
Among the company's international subsidiaries are Lancome, Maybelline, NYX Cosmetics, Garnier, and Matrix Essentials, among other names. According to Goldstein Market Intelligence, the Indian cosmetics market was valued at approximately $11.16 billion in 2017 and is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate, KGR, of 5.91% until 2030. Retail sales of cosmetics and other personal care products are expected to increase by 15-20% yearly, with India having one of the fastest growing domestic markets in the world. It added that since 2015, the overall demand has grown by 60%. Alright folks, now you know it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you find it entertaining so that YouTube can suggest it to other users. Make sure to hit the bell button on our channel to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. We appreciate you viewing and I'll see you on another.